Hi, I'm Eric Chudler. I'm a professor here at the University of Washington. I have an appointment in the Department of Bioengineering here, also in the Department of Anesthesiology and Pain Medicine. Uh, the Neuroscience for Kids website was created back in 1997 through a grant by the National Institutes of Health. That grant allowed me to develop a resource for students, for teachers, for parents, uh, so that they could learn more about the brain. The site is divided up into a couple major sections. Uh, one of the major sections is an introduction to the nervous system, and this gives basic information about the different parts of the nervous system. For example, uh, we divide up the cerebral cortex, the thalamus, the brainstem, talk about where these places are, some of the functions that they do. Then a student can go and look at uh, how can they experiment with these, uh, with their senses. They can test their reflexes, they can test their different sides, so uh, a student can come in there and get an experiment to do. So some of the things that the kids can do, uh, these are, are little tops that are just made of uh, CDs that I've painted them one half white and one half black and drawn a pattern on these. And these are called Benham discs or Benham tops. Even though it's just a completely black and white pattern, when it's spun at different speeds or in different directions, uh, in fact, what I see here is a big band of, of red along the outside rim of this disc. Uh, we perceive colors, although there, there are actually no colors here. What the website does is it asks the children and the students to think of other ways that they can investigate this, making different patterns, spinning it in different directions, looking at the disc in different types of light to see if they can figure out for themselves. Another activity that uh, kids can do is they can make these little uh, models. This is a beady neuron, so uh, I, can, I give the pattern and the kids are, are somewhat familiar with being able to work these different patterns and they can create themselves a neuron out of beads where the black area here are some dendrites, the white is the cell body, the purple here is the axon of, a, of the neuron, and then the turquoise uh, bluish color here represents the synaptic terminal. Teachers and students can request a newsletter. I send out a newsletter once a month. This month, so one of the articles is on the Belgian uh, pavilion at the Shanghai World Expo. Uh, the Belgian government, I guess, decided to create their pavilion in the shape of a giant brain cell. I often get emails from students uh, asking about what, what is it about the 10% of the brain? What do we do with the other 90% of our brain? And of course that's not true. We use 100% of our brain. And so I like writing about some of these things that people might have some misconceptions about.